So we have already interpreted this coefficient in front of the h and set it into relation to the temperature in the quiz. Let us now discuss why this coefficient in front of the temperature goes down. So if we had not added h, we had a coefficient of 22.3 in front of temperature. And now once we added h, it has gone down to 19.1. And let us try to explain this with a little bit simplified model, which I uh, try to illustrate with a graphic here. So assume that the price of a auction bottle of a Bordeaux wine only depends on two variables, on the temperature during the growing season when it was created and the age of the bottle. Um, and furthermore, uh, we will see actually in our data set that age and temperature are positively correlated. Let's look again uh, at the data here in R. So if I write core, which stands for correlation, between the temperature and the age of each vintage, we find a positive correlation of 0.29. And uh, remember that correlations are always between minus 1 and 1. It's not too strong, but also not too small. So this means uh, it turned out that systematically older vintages that have higher ages were also grown at warmer temperatures. So this doesn't really sound like climate change. You would expect uh, the opposite, that newer vintages are grown at higher temperatures. But these are uh, as an old data set. So we only have data before uh, 1980 here. Uh, so the climate change didn't seem to have played a big role yet. So. Um, here we have this positive correlation between temperature and age. And that is what we also assume here in our little model. Temperature and age are positively correlated. And we also assume that the temperature influences the price positively and also the age affects the price positively. So that's also what we saw in our regressions. Now assume we don't include age as an additional variable in our regression. So we estimate the short regression. We explain the price only by the temperature during the growing season. Then the estimated coefficient beta 1 s hat, so that's the estimate of this beta 1 in the short regression, actually um, captures all the reasons for a positive correlation between temperature and price. So that's first the direct causal effect, higher temperature leads to a higher price, that's what we assume here, but there's also an indirect effect. So higher temperature basically corresponds to vintages of higher age. We saw this, the older vintage were grown at higher temperatures, and higher age also causes higher price. So we also catch a little bit of this positive effect in our estimate for beta 1s. So this means we systematically find a more positive estimate beta 1s than the direct causal effect from temperature on price. In other words, if you are interested in this causal effect, only this direct effect from temperature on price, we have a positive bias. Our estimator is systematically too large. Now assume we estimate a long regression where we also add age as an additional explanatory variable. We also say that if you are interested mainly in the effect of temperature price that we control for age. Then basically our estimate for the coefficient in front of the temperature, beta 1 L hat, only estimates now this direct causal effect from temperature on price. By controlling for age, basically we remove this indirect effect that also higher age leads to higher price and temperature is positively related with age from our estimate. So we will now only directly estimate this causal effect. So our estimator in the long regression, beta 1 hat L, is an unbiased estimator of the causal effect from the temperature on the price. And here in this example, this estimator beta 1L in the long regression will be smaller than the one in the short regression because this coefficient beta 1L doesn't contain this indirect positive relationship between temperature and price over the age variable. And that's actually 
what we also observed in our model where we also added this weather variables. This is kind of the short regression where we don't control for age and then we find a larger coefficient in front of the temperature. Uh, but this estimate 22.3 is systematically larger than the causal effect from temperature on the price because it also captures this indirect effect because higher temperature were positively correlated with higher age. And if we long, uh, run the long regression where we control for age, our coefficient, estimated coefficient in front of the temperature becomes smaller because now we control for this indirect positive effect. That's exactly what I have explained here. Only a bit more complicated because we have added also the uh, rainfall variables, but they don't change the basic idea here. So the, the main interest of Aschenfelder was that he wanted to have a predictor for a vintage's quality when it was freshly harvested, so when its age was zero. Nevertheless, he added age as a control variable in the regression, even so uh, if he set it to zero, it will not really affect our prediction because uh, they wanted really to find the cause and effect of the weather variables and you they wanted to basically control for this indirect correlation uh, that has arisen because um, uh, older vintages had uh, higher growing temperatures in their data set.